Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I am Marivox, and in today's video we're going to be continuing our Mass Effect Legendary Edition Let's Play. So in the last couple of episodes, um, which I, I know have been a little while since I uploaded, and I, I hope you guys saw that the, uh, the update on my channel uh, recently. My computer was uh, in the shop getting repaired, I was having some screen difficulties, my, the screen case was cracking, I couldn't open it without worrying about my screen getting damaged, so I couldn't actually use it for the last couple of weeks. So I'm back, um, and I did put that in that message yesterday. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the last couple of episodes of this Let's Play were all kind of like side quests. We were tying up some loose ends on the Citadel, we got to meet Shaira and tell Kohaku, um, or Kohoku, sorry, I always, I always do that, Admiral Kohoku about the, uh, the team that was ambushed in Artemis Tau Cluster by a Thresher Maw. Um, and I'm assuming he, he made it sound like we're going to get some more missions from him, so I'm not sure, but we did offer our help. Um, anyway, since it's been a couple of episodes since we did a main quest mission, I think we're going to start with a main quest. So let's take a look at our, oh, wait, hold on. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. Well, I did the best I could with her. She is kind of a mean person. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. All right, so occasionally we will get interrupted by Admiral Hackett. I'm actually surprised that didn't happen earlier. Um, anyway, so we can't look at our journal here, but I do know that we have to go to Novaria in Pharos as part of the main quest. The asteroid X57 is actually DLC, so we'll probably do that later, but I think Pharos is gonna be the next one that we do, so let's go ahead and run over to the Attican Beta Cluster. Um, we wanna go over here. And like last time, um, when we finished at Therum rescuing Liara, we did do a whole video of kind of cleaning out Artemis Tau. Anyway, this could be part of a side quest mission where we do a couple of these systems. I would like to get through a few, but again, that the one with Therum took so long because there were so many systems in it. But anyway, let's head to the Theseus cluster. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kohoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Okie dokie then. Um... Well, it looks like we're going to be hunting Cerberus for, uh, for Kohoku. Um, anyway, back to Pharos. We will get, we will get to that probably even in the next episode or in the one after we finish Ther Pharos. Um, this does take a little while. Not as long as Novaria, though. The Exogeny Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two-thirds of the planet's landmass. The atmosphere is fouled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumbled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indications that Pharos was a much colder world in the past. Pharos has two large moons, Orkin at the farther end, Vardet. So the colony was found in 2178, got a population of 300, which is really tiny. And the capital is the Exogeny building, uh, which, yeah, that's kind of weird. All right. Um, Orbital period's kind of long, not as long as some I've seen. Day length is a little longer than normal day, but all right, let's land. So let's read about this world a little, or this this uh, particular 
journal entry before I decide which people I'm taking. So we're gonna go, uh, Pharaoh's Geth attack, okay. Uh, let's see why it's attacked by Geth. The Geth have attacked the world of Pharaohs. So we have to save Zeus Hope and investigate what Saren is after here. So since it is a Geth attack, I think I'm gonna bring Garrus and Tally. Uh, Tally has really good tech skills, so I'm gonna need her on this mission. And Garrus, of course, is an excellent shot, so always have him. All right, so let's head out. Let's see, nope, over here. Garrus and, hello, Garrus and Ellie. Okay. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, so we're here on Pharos. It definitely looks pretty dusty. I know that they, they said that in the in the overview of the world. Here's a person, David Altalakani, I guess. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who is Fidan? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! Oh great. <laughs> That didn't take long. Stop moving, you little jerk. Gotcha. Alright, there- oop, nope, okay. No, my shields are good. Okay, I thought my shields had gone down. That wasn't really a good cover for you, my dude. Alright, um... Well, get behind cover, Garrus! Dang! You know better. Mr. C-Sec Officer. Ooh, those are nice hit shots. Oh, dang it. They're getting shields. Stop with the shields. They're useless. Uh -huh, see? Wow, double shields? Rude. Okay. I think that's all of them. Well, maybe not. It's still jammed and Tally's still firing. Well, you left a knee out, sir. There's a freaking sniper back there? Are you kidding me? Okay. What? Garrus, that was my cover. Dang it. Okay. Um. How do I go about doing this? Hold on. Let's push you out of cover, yeah? That didn't work. This will. Oh boy, <laughs> just about sniped me that close. That was bad. All right, whatever. Um, anything down here I need? Doesn't look like it. I don't see any little little things to interact with. Oh gosh, darn it! We got the the gecko geth. <coughs> They're so gross looking. I I don't. They look really stretchy and weird. Yes, hi. Oh, no you do not. No you- where- where did you go? Well, okay. Did we get them? I guess so. It, the jamming is gone. I think we leveled up, so let's fix that. Oh, we got new equipment too. I wonder when that happened. Okay! Uh, let's level up throw because we can get lift unlocked. I'm going to get a couple on that, and let's up Spectre training. I now have Unity, which is what we've been needing for a while. So Unity allows you to immediately restore your squad members to fighting state after they have been knocked out in combat. So when any of my squad mates go down, I now can heal them and they can fight with me again. So that's what I needed really, really bad. All right, so Garrus, let's up first aid. Um, I'm going to give you a couple points on electronics because you do need that, but I also want to give you some... Tactical armor, and now he can wear medium armor, which is exactly what we needed. Okay, so he's got some armor. We bought him, I think, in like the last episode or something. I can't remember. I bought, I did buy him some armor at some point, but it was medium armor. Um. Anyway, if you can hear my husband, he's playing, I think, Call of Duty or some such nonsense uh, with his friends, and he's being a little loud. Anyway, uh, let's give him some just decryption, uh, damping up that a little bit. 
and basic armor because I, she can wear, well, no, this is shield, she can only get shield boosts. Okay, well, that's kind of annoying. Never mind. We'll give her that later, but advanced first aid would be good, but I think, I think upgrading damping would be best, honestly. Okay, now let's look at equipment. Okay, great, but I want to check out Garrus's armor here. Yeah, see? You got the Predator and, well, no, let's give him the Predator. Yeah. Nice. Desert's storming it up here. Okay. Um, I don't think I have anything for Tally. I definitely don't have anything for me. I mean, this, yes, uh, shields and tech is better. You know, yeah, let's, let's go with this. Which is my N7 armor. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I, I haven't picked up any weapons recently, so I'm pretty sure I don't have anything new there. I have, I know I picked up armor because I have needed that. Uh, do I go that way or? Yeah, I go that way because I can't go that way. Okay. Um, colonists. Hello, people. Hi. Yes. I will agree with that. So we just got some colonists over here. Who are you? Just a colonist. Okay. Um, you. Maka Doyle? Okay, but what are you working on? What are you working on? May O'Connell. Okay. None of this is informative. So. Davin Reynolds. Whoa. Was that gunshot? Did I see that right? Maybe not. I don't know. It looked like I saw a bullet whizzing overhead. <laughs> Where? Where are they mounting another attack? That's my question. Okay, there is an exclamation point over here, but... Yep, I guess it's over here. Hi! Arcelia Silva Martinez and... Bye, Dan, there you are! Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Excuse you. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Here we go again. Protect the heart of the colony! What do they want with this little rinky-dink colony? There's, like, nothing here. Hey, why are you just... No, no, absolutely not. Ow! Hmm. Jerk. Okay, that one's down. Okay, why aren't you guys doing anything? Okay, I need you right there, Garrus. Go on. No, 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 this is my spot. Garrus, I told you to go to the other one. Okay, fine. Whatever. I can't believe you just did a sniper hit. No! Whoa-hoo! Gotta get behind that now. Ow! Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. Okay, well, that's back up. Can you, can the sniper come out of hiding now? Come on. Eh. Got him. Okay, get sniper down. But we have another sniper, so that's not good. Got him too, okay. Whoop, we got another trooper here. Why am I not in? Okay, just die. All right, cool. We do still have some more in here, so I guess we gotta push forward. They're up there? They're not gonna come down here? Well, I guess they know better. Hello! Oh, my shields. No, get in cover. No, I said, oh my gosh, this is not good cover apparently. Why did you do that? <laughs> You've protected me from getting hit, this idiot. Okay, that one's down. Okay, now I'm in cover, but now I'm in, like, weird cover. Oh, that was weird. Come on. Come on out. Come on. Oh, get behind cover. Oh, gosh. What? Was that you, Tally? Why are you throwing... Oh, my gosh. Don't throw those right in front of you. Okay. Is that everybody? Looks like it. All, clear. All right. I bet we have more, though. Just gonna... Hmm. 
because we would have more. Now, which way do I go? I guess this way? Can I go this way? Huh. Looks like there's enemies this way, so might as well. Yes, excuse me. Hi. Okay, I'm just gonna come down here. Very hard to shoot uphill here. I okay, got you. Garris, you really need to get behind cover, so go over there. Alright, I'm gonna come up this way. And get behind this cover. I got that one. What? There's people up here? No. Good. Well, okay. No shields, I swear to God. <laughs> they don't help you. Okay, come on now. Garrus, are you scared of something? There you go. Come on, come out. There you go. See? Uh, oh no. They're just dropping in here, and that guy's got a rocket. Garrus, where'd you go? Why'd you go down there? Ah, uh, oh no. We have a prime. Bird destroyer. At least it's not a prime. Yes, prime are awful. Oops. Well, got you, I guess. Do we have... We do have another one over here. Hmm. Now, how should I go about getting him out of cover? Hi, yeah, hello. Gotcha. Okay. I know if I played this on Insanity, I'd probably die fighting like that. But oh well. Okay, yes, talk to Fight Anne, but, I mean, they just attacked the colony. We gotta make sure the colony is doing okay. What's up here? Medical station. Ooh, nice. And a upgrade. What is this? This looks very geth. Hmm, okay. I can't really do anything with it. Take all. Easy decryption. Let's, uh, manual override here. B, B, X, X. Cool. Done. Got some... Amps and Omni tools, awesome. I could use the amp probably, although I think I think mine's pretty good. Let's double check. Mine is not. I mean, it's better than. See, this one's got a duration, but power and cooldown is pretty bad. I think I want the power and the cooldown over the duration, because it's not like I'm not using a singularity right now. So, Ooh, got stuck. I'm not using singularity, which is like creating a, uh, I mean, a black hole for lack of a better description. Uh, it sucks enemies up toward it and hovers them in the in the air, kind of around the singularity. So I, I don't have that move, which would be, which would probably be beneficial if I had duration. But because most of my moves that I use are have need to have power behind them, and I'd like to use them frequently, so a cooldown is necessary. You know. All right, so we're just going down here. Gotta see what, what's this way. What? Oh God, they're Hide. <laughs> oh, dang it. No! I hate these stupid things. And I just lost my shields. Where the heck did it go? Shields, come on! Barrier. I don't, I don't have... Ugh. Okay, I can't use any of my... Dang it. Stop moving. Oh my gosh. I hate these things. Got him. Okay. Whew. Okay, we got this guy down here. Got him too. Okay, but I also have really gross health right now. Like, I'm probably poisoned or something. Negative contact. All right, good to know. Thanks, Garrus. 
Um, I assume it's this way. Wait, is this a door? Can I? I can't go in there. All right. Well, let's go down here then. Hmm. It's weird that this is all part of a tower, like, because everything is way above ground. And there's enemies down here. I should probably focus. Where are these enemies? Okay, cover. Let's get to cover. Ooh, good lord. Okay. Oops. Swung a little wide there. Nope, come back. Alright. No! I hate those stupid... Okay, got one down. Are you trying to be in cover? Because you're not doing a good job of it. There we go. Okay. Moving on. Oh, these guys are down. Water valve. It's open, so it's closed. I guess the colony doesn't have water then. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Okay, so we'll have to open the rest of the valves to make sure that the colony has water again. Wow, these guys are sneaky. They turned off the water. What's this? Okay. Ah, Baron. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't get too close to me. Okay. Oh, well, thank you, guys. No, okay. Now what? Oh, uh, we got a red one? Baron Alpha. Okay. Why is he just standing there? The Varian falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. Okay. Well, that's done, I guess. Malfunctioning object. Okay, we got some upgrades. Sludge canister. Probably some more upgrades or ammo stuff. Oh no, guns. Cool. Alright. Remove power cells. This old disabled vehicle has more willing, was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. Okay. All right, heading down here again. Why are you guys still in the doorway? You could have walked all the way into the room, you know, but whatever. All right, oop, we got enemies. And we've got a destroyer here. I do not like fighting destroyers in close quarters. Back off. Ugh. Can I have a barrier, please? Okay, um, Tally, I would like for you to try, um, do it on this one. Dude, back off. Excuse you, that was rude. Got in my face. You guys see that? Got in my face. All right. Still jammed. Oh, water valve. Here we go. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. Okay, where are they? Hello? Did you guys get stuck? Come on. Rally round. What are you guys doing? You guys are stuck. Oh my gosh, come on. Ugh, okay. I guess I'm gonna do this all by myself. Awesome. <sighs> okay, well, whatever. I think I can handle it. Get sniper. Hello. Wow, that was easy. Three shots? Was that three or four shots? I don't know. It wasn't a lot. Alright, um... Ian Newstead. Are you okay, sir? I'm just hanging out down here with the Geth. You don't want to go down there. Down where and who are you? What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. Huh? No! Are you okay? What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's will. What? 
helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. What do you mean? Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Ah! I'm trying to get to the... Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave here. Um, can I do anything to help you? Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Okay. Ah, hello, yes. Well, let me get behind this cover here. I don't like. Here we go. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, um. That's it. Bag of attack. That's great, but where's the last. Where's the last water valve? Is it over here? Because I'm pretty sure I missed it. It came up that way. Hmm, maybe it's up here? No, I don't see it. I know there's supposed to be one more. These don't look like doorways. Okay, no. <sighs> oh, water valve, where are you? Why are you guys just hanging out in one spot? Can you please come with me? Like, we're a team, right? That means that you should be following me. Uh, what about over here? Is this a door? It's probably not a door. It's probably just another wall. Man, okay, where is the last water valve? You know what? It might have been down here. I don't know, because I think that I turned another one on down here, didn't I? Yeah, that one down there, I think I turned that one on. And I thought they said there was more in the system. Ugh, this is frustrating. Well, I guess I can keep looking for it if I walk back this way, but... Because I was in the middle of fighting things. Hmm. Could also check my journal. Let's do that. Uh, Pharaoh's power cells, Varen meat, water restoration. Two of three. I knew there's three. Okay. There's three for sure. And I've only gotten two. So where's the third one? Maybe it's in here. Okay, this is definitely a door. It's different from the other ones. Okay, yeah. And there's Geth in here. I really hope they follow me. Nope, you're not gonna get me today. All right, Tally, come on. Okay, got one. Oh dear, we got we got a lot of stuff going on here. All right, Garrus, use overload, please. Awesome, thank you. Uh, use sabotage on that thing. Cool. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this, and I have absolutely zero backup. Okay, um, I'm gonna say Garrus goes there, and Tally goes there. Maybe they'll actually obey those. Nope. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, I have, like, such a bad feeling about this. This looks like the perfect place for an ambush. Which is pretty much exactly what that was. Yes, hi. Sabotage. Uh, damping. Gosh darn it. Could you not get in my face? Oh my god. Dude, back off. Nope. Throwing you. Throw. Gosh. There we go. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> All right, so there's more enemies ahead, and I don't have any backup because my squad mates are glitching and being rude. Um, 
Oh my god, and they're Krogan. Ugh. They're freaking Krogan, guys. Shoot. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Oh god! No, thank you. Nope, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Well, at least they're messing up right now. What the heck? Uh, lift. Uh, okay, what else can I hit this guy with? Okay, he's dead. Cool. You are not. Now they're all glitching. Okay, so this make it a little bit easier, I guess. I did almost die there. That was a little scary. No. I definitely... Actually, let's switch to the sniper rifle, since he's kind of far. Uh... Throw him again. Well, okay, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Of course, that may make him charge. Yeah, now he, he realizes that I'm here. Can you get... Thank you. Come on. Oh my god, I hate how freaking... Shield boost. I have nothing that I can use right now. Come on. You must be glitched or something because you're being really weird. Come on. Oh my gosh, no. I hate that they go down and immediately start healing. Like, it, that's freaking annoying. Well, I guess I missed. Shield boost right now. I also need something that I can actually hit for a while, so... Because that shotgun does some damage, but... It, there we go. Okay. Shotgun does damage. It just doesn't stay... <laughs> stay, uh... It just overheats too quickly. Alright, we got one more guy down here. I'm pretty sure he's the one that charged me. Yes, hi. Okay, wait. Uh... Damping, please. Ah, oh. okay, tackled three Krogan by myself. That's awesome. Okay, hopefully there's nobody else down here. Please, somebody else be down here. Ah, okay, transmission tower. Um, let me grab what's in here first because, yeah. No, take it, thank you. All right, let's get rid of this guest transmitter. Done, cool. All right, so now they're not gonna be able to grab anything from here. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I bet there might have been a water valve where that uh, where the Varian were. Let's check there. I don't know. For, there's got to be a third one somewhere, and I know I missed it because I've been all over down here. Hmm. That's a door. Is that a door I can go through? Is this the Varian? Okay. This is, in fact, the Varian area. I don't see a water valve to unlock. I didn't see one where the, the Krogan were either. What the heck? This is frustrating, guys. Don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe over here? I, I just, I don't remember. Ah, oh, come on. Whoop! <laughs> yeah, no, we're... My... Ah, nope. And I'd like to do a shield boost, please. Maybe a barrier? Awesome. I'd like to kill this one really quick. Oh, we got a destroyer back here, but he's not moving, so that's kind of weird. One thing I don't like about this uh, assault rifle is that it, 
has a lot of kickback. All right, Mr. Sniper. Okay, I don't like that at all. Yeah, good luck. There you go. Okay. This water valve I didn't open. <sighs> There's always one that I miss. I thought I grabbed that one. Okay, whatever. I guess we're done now. System is active and I got power cells for something. I killed Varen. The Geth transmitter's down, so Geth are not going to be going to that signal or whatever they do. I don't know. All right, so we're going to head back to the colony and make sure that that's everything. <laughs> Uh, I think, I don't know what else I need to do in the colony. I think that was all that I needed to do. Then after that, it's like, go figure out wherever the Geth are actually coming from, where their main base is. Am I in the right spot? That goes to that other place. Uh, this is the colony, I think. Um, elevator to Prothean Skyway. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Right? No? Where am I? <laughs> These hallways are so confusing. Okay, wait. That's not what I want, for sure. Okay. Actually, this is what I want. I want to go this way. This is correct. I'm not going crazy. They all look the same. Okay. Yeah, we're in the right spot. Hello? Where is everybody? Ah, yes. Hi, Fiden. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm happy to help. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Well, don't worry, because I'm here and I'll take care of it. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Where is the Exogeny headquarters located? How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny Headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Yeah, well, we'll take care of it. Whatever. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Alright, um... Let's talk about what needs... What this colony needs to get operational. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Uh, stopped the Geth. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for everyone. How about the water shortage issue? Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. I mean, I did turn on the water valve, so that's probably okay. What about power? What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it. Because I have the, the fuel cells, the power cells or whatever from that vehicle in the, the tunnels. Food shortage? You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, Please speak with him. All right, I'll go talk to those three people. Davin Reynolds, May O'Connell, and Maka okay. Doyle, I think. Uh, let's go through here. Because I remember May O'Connell and Maka Doyle were... Ah, oh, there's Davin. Okay, that makes things easy. Hey, Davin. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Well, you need food, right? Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Well, I guess it's good that the Alpha Male is dead. You're welcome. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. All right. Um, can I ask you about the colony? Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Why can't you tell me anything? 
Why should I speak with Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. Okay. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Cool, thanks. All right, um, May O'Connell and Makadoy are right here. So let's talk to May O'Connell since she's closer. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Will these work? I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, my dad gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Thanks. Getting me some Paragon points, y'all. All right, Maka Doyle, hi. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Yes, you're welcome. I got credits for that too. Nice. Okay. Uh, is there anybody else here that I can talk to? Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you if you wish. All right, what do you have for sale? Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Most of these are out of my price range. Except for the armory license. Let's take that. And the tornado? Shotgun. Can I compare that? Well, it's almost better than mine. Mine has a better accuracy rope. It's better than mine all the way around. Hmm. I could buy it, but I don't know if I really want to right now. Eh. I'll just take the license and maybe I'll earn more money later. I just, I don't have a lot right now. Can I activate the... No. This work must be completed. Must be, okay. Well, Hannah, what are you working on? You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Uh, yes. Uh, can you tell me about the colony? What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. Different in what way? What do you mean? Uh, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I you should speak with Fidan. He knows the colony better than me. Okay. Uh, are you the ship's owner? Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Salarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. Are you able to fly it? What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on the water. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll go. Goodbye. Good luck out there. That's okay. Just why don't you guys clean up the dead bodies? Good lord. It's kind of gross. Alright. I guess everybody's telling me to talk to Fight Anne. Um even that guy, the the weird guy in the, the tunnels, who was what I don't know, I can't even explain that. Um yeah, well. Fight Anne, what's going on? Commander? First, I'm going to ask you about the man in the tunnels, because that's a huge question. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. No kidding. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. What about the strange behavior of the rest of your colonists? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. Well, I guess you could make the argument for some sort of like PTSD or something, but uh, something's really weird. Can you tell me about the colony since everybody's telling me to come to you? Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. Well, 
I mean, you weren't counting on Geth, but nobody was really counting on Saren either. Um, how many people lived here? How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. Well, I could evacuate you. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. How is there a chance here that's not available and I don't understand you can grow anywhere <laughs> okay not anywhere but this is like I don't know if you're looking around this is like a hostile environment and I'm like not even including the geth I mean you're living in towers thousands of feet above the above the ground which is uninhabitable and there's I mean I, I don't okay whatever uh, all right um let's talk about the geth base what can you tell me about the defenses the geth have set up I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. Okay. Um. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? Getting rid of the Geth in the tunnels helped us immensely, Commander. But there are still some other mundane necessities, like food, water, and power to think of. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people. Okay. Overseas. I was just seeing if he had anything else to add since I've already fixed everything. All right, that's it. Goodbye, man. I'll talk to you when I learn more. All right, so our next uh, trip is up the Skyway over to Exogeny. But since this episode is already running almost to an hour, um, I'm trying to keep them at, at about an hour. Um, and I know the second half of Pharaohs is going to take a little while. So, um, I'm going to leave this one here and we will finish up Pharos in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.